In today's video, we're talking about an epic, folk, then progressive symphonic rock band from the French-speaking Canadian province of Quebec. Harmonium inspired many musicians in Canada and never gave in to the pressure to sing in English to gather more popularity. Join me to learn about the history and discography of this incredible band that stayed true to their roots and are a symbol of pride in Quebec. He's got a Our story begins with Serge Fiori, who was born March 4th, 1952, in Montreal, Quebec. He had grown up in the company of his father's ballroom orchestra, which he was singing in as early as the age of four, and by 12 he had already mastered guitar basics by ear. In his teenage years, he would perform at different local bars as well as with his father's group. He and some friends formed a band called Morphus, which included Beau Dommage drummer Réal de Hossiers. This band backed Guy Trepanier on his debut album in 1971. Born in 1949, guitarist, journalist, and drama actor Michel Normando was looking for someone to help him write music for a play in 1972 when he met Serge Fiori. The project fell apart, but the two became friends and started writing music for what would become Harmonium in November of 1972. Within just a few months, Louis Valois joined on bass. These three would begin performing as a folk trio in summer of 1973 with Serge on vocals and Michel and Serge both on acoustic guitars. On June 25th, they performed live for over 300,000 people at the same time that they were broadcast live on radio at a celebration for the Quebec national holiday, the St. John the Baptist Day. After another successful radio appearance, the band got signed to an Ontario company called Quality Records. Their self-titled debut album was recorded in just six days and was released in April of 1974. It mostly features the folk sound of two acoustic guitars with bass and gentle vocals, but there are moments that mix in a little piano, flute, percussion, and even a bugle solo. Interesting arrangements with great dynamics and long song lengths with extended musical sections show that this band was already more on the progressive side. A couple of the standout tracks are the short and accessible song Por un Instant and the seven minute epic finale, both of which have become radio hits and the album sold very well in Quebec. A French carving from the 1600s was used on the album cover and became a logo for the band. Harmonium went on a small tour of Quebec as ideas were brewing for a much more ambitious project. The band decided to start working towards a more symphonic approach and had an idea for an epic concept album. To help achieve this, Pierre Denal was recruited to play various woodwind instruments and Serge Loca joined on piano and synthesizers. Si on avait besoin d'une cinquième saison, I probably butchered that, <laughs> or if we needed a fifth season, is more commonly known as The Five Seasons and was released in May of 1975. I only understand Spanish and English, so I apologize for butchering all the French in this video, and thank you to Shannon and Jordan for helping me out with it. If you guys appreciate all my hard work, please give me a like down below. But anyway, I cannot understand the lyrics by this band, but from what I've gathered, this album is not only about the four seasons, which has been done before. Throughout the first four tracks of this album, they talk about each individual season, but the last track, a 17-minute epic, is the concept of if we had a fifth season. Beginning with Ver, or Green, the spring song starts with woodwinds, then is replaced by acoustic guitar, bass, and two layers of vocals, followed by the piano as the two vocal layers start matching to sing long, held-out vocal harmonies. This song continues to progress through many changes, and it is one that I absolutely adore and a great introduction to the album. The next track is a Dixieland-style song representing summer that has some minor percussion, including clapping and tap sounds. But besides that, the album doesn't have any drums on it, as they weren't needed for the vibe and feeling that Harmonium was going for on this album, which goes on to provide lush, dynamic, and beautiful progressive folk rock. In 1976, they again performed at a celebration for St. John the Baptist Day, this time sharing the stage with many of the other most well-known Quebec musicians at the time. We have several lineup changes between the second and third albums. Woodwind player Pierre Denal leaves the band and is replaced by Liber Suberhana. Monique Fautou 
joins the band as a second vocalist, and Denis Farmer joins as the band's first drummer. The band started to play faster licks and became a full-on progressive rock band, and it is thought that founding member Michel Normando was unable to keep up with the others, and though the other band members would have liked him to stay as a composer, he was disappointed and left the group. He was replaced by Robert Stanley, who had played with Denny Farmer in Tubabu and Contraction. Neil Schottem was also hired to help compose and conduct orchestral segments for the next album. Lep Todd was released November 15th of 1976. The album begins with an orchestral prologue that introduces a theme or two that we'll hear later in the album. Then we hear the unique and unforgettable voice of Serge Fiori over his acoustic guitar in classic harmonium fashion. But as more layers join in, the song transforms and the sounds of acoustic guitar become far less relevant in comparison to all that this seven-piece lineup has to offer. Each of the seven long pieces of music go on to sing about the seven levels of consciousness. And the titles of the first and last songs on the album suggest a journey from fool to sage. This long and epic album weaves through incredible dynamics. At times it is some of the most gentle music I've ever heard, while other moments are comparable to shreddy and fast bands like Yes. Of course, their previous albums didn't have a drummer, so though they do rock out on this, it is more akin to a well-composed orchestra that incorporates synthesizers, electric guitars, and both male and female vocals. The band also continues to let their love of their heritage shine through, and though I'm sure I don't recognize all of the French influences, the fourth track is undoubtedly very French in style. Around this time, the flagship band of Quebec did a small tour of California that was at least partially funded by their government, and was filmed for a documentary by the National Film Board of Canada. This documentary is available here on YouTube under the name Harmonium in California, and in it they discuss quite a bit about how the band had been pressured to sing in English to achieve a broader audience, but they wanted to stay a true representation of their homeland, and they felt the music spoke for itself. During the tour, the band performed new material that was eventually recorded by most of the band and released in 1978 under the name Fiori Seguan. A side project with Richard Seguan from another progressive folk rock band from Quebec called Les Seguan. Serge Loca didn't appear on the album and instead released a solo album in 1978. After this, it seems like the band kind of disappeared and there were a few different reasons floating around on the internet I think it's a combination of Serge Fiori having some kind of medical issues and the band feeling like they've accomplished everything they needed to. They had spoken everything they needed to say and they wanted to go out on a high note and simply be remembered as one of the greatest rock bands from Quebec. In 1980, a live album was released in which the band plays the entirety of their third album, Leptod, without the orchestral interludes and with some extended solo sections. This is an incredible performance, and some may choose this version over the original studio version. Serge Fiori would return to music with an art pop album in the year 1986, and had another album in 2014. Leptod had initially been mixed while the band was on tour, and on November 18th of 2016, a 40th anniversary remix of Leptod was released, which includes a few more minutes of music, and is remixed to better reflect the band's initial vision. If you're looking for a place to start with this band and are a completionist at nature, I would say to just go ahead and start from the beginning. There's only a few albums and they are all sure to please. If you're looking for just a song or two, I always have links down in the description below and I will have some for a couple of the more basic and easy to get into songs. And if you're looking to just get one album, my favorite is their second album, If We Needed a Fifth Season. It's a ton of work, but I'm attempting to release these mini docs on a weekly basis, as well as a few reviews and interviews on the side. And I'd really appreciate it if you could support me by giving me a like and a subscribe down below. Comment down below telling me about what you think about Harmonium. Have you heard this band? Have you heard some of the other progressive rock bands from Quebec? Tell me down below which one's your favorite. And have a happy listening session.